everyone, no, this is not Step Up. This is the <laughs> Ripper Kids Own TV Show. And thank you so much for joining us. This is one of the very many sets that we have here at the Chortons Ministry at the heart of River East London Church under the leadership of Pastor Kevin and Pastor Chantal Davies, as well as our visionary leaders, Dr. Andre and Pastor Jenny Rabbit. My name is Brad, and this is my wife, Jazan, and we're going to be sharing with you a bit of the vision of what we do here at River Kids Zone. It's really amazing, Brad, to know that our whole vision is River Kids Zone helping children live That's their right. God-given purpose. And really, this was birthed from our greatest pain gave us our strongest conviction, which has given us the vision of River Kids Zone. I know, Brad, for you, schooling was not easy. Right. Your school life was not easy. My home life was not easy growing up. And on the basis of that, we really have developed this vision, and God is amazing. And that's our whole goal, ch helping children live their God-given purpose. That's right, Jazan. And you know, one of the slogans we stick by here, with the team that we have, a wonderful team of volunteers who help us do what we do every single Sunday, is hashtag our serve. We are here to serve the kingdom, build the kingdom, and our team are phenomenal. We could not do what we do, Jazan, yeah. without them. Absolutely, Brad. We could not do what we do without them. They are amazing. You know, they serve week in and week out, Sunday after Sunday. They are volunteers and they make things happen. That's right. And the slogan that we stick by as well in Kids Zone is, if serving is below you, then leading is beyond you. You know, Jazan, talking about leading, what we do here as leaders, we set the example and uh, obviously role model the way for the children to follow is we stick by the scripture, Romans 9, 17, which is beautiful. In the NLT, it speaks about, for this very purpose, I have displayed my power within you so that you can spread my fame around the whole entire world. And so we instill it into the children. We encourage them to stay rooted and to stay grounded in the word of God. And that is just so exciting, what we are a part of, helping children to live their God-given purpose. You know, and my favorite part, Brad, is a Sunday service. Yeah. Our doors open normally at 8.30. Sunday is absolutely amazing. Brad, not only do we have drama skits, powerful lessons, we preach the Word of God. It is not watered down at all. We preach the Word of God, but also children are able to be children and That's have right. fun. That's really what it's about. We have candy floss machine. Often we have jumping castles, games. So children are able to be children and um, receive the word of God. Lives are impacted. Children give their hearts to the Lord. That's and right. that is what it's about. You know, just what I love about what we do on Sundays is our praise and worship, the time we spend during lessons and craft time and getting the word of God out there with the memory verses. We even have our own dance crew. I mean, you've, you've got to yeah. see these guys and girls where they dance and come up with their actions and oh, move to so the songs. It's, mm -hmm. it's incredible. And um, we also have launched the Bible Back Shop here at River Kids Zone where we encourage children, where well, we get them to be responsible and reliable with money. Now, obviously, this is fake money and not real money, but it gives the children the opportunity to be reliable with what they are given. And some of these children do not have financial income and of any source. Some of their parents come from really tough backgrounds. But you know what? We stand on the word of faith. Yeah. And here we see children even sow and give and tithe on their Bible books which is instilling godly values into these children. Absolutely. I love what you said, Brad, because it really teaches children responsibility. Yes. You know, learning your memory verse week in, week out, um, helping the teacher, serving, all of those are great qualities and character. Um, we instill character in these children by yes. teaching them responsibility with this Bible back um, shop. And really awesome because it opens once a month. They're able to get various items in the shop. So there's teddy bears, for instance, sweets, all sorts of things. Very, very cool way for children to be able to learn responsibility and reliability from a very, very young age. And you know, what we love, what we do is going out. So all the different initiatives we'll be bringing to you. One is Fitness Tuesdays, where we go into the primary schools every Tuesday and we go with hand and eye coordination for skill drills to be able to get the gospel into the schools. Yeah. Jazan, this is just so beautiful. This is absolutely, Brad. You know, it's our foot in the door with these schools, going into these schools to be able to teach them the gospel, but also teaching them hand-eye coordination drills. But really, it's amazing because you see these children build relationships. They learn to trust you. And uh, one of my favorite stories, Brad, is literally at the end of last term, we gave the children the opportunity to accept Jesus as their Lord Beautiful. and Savior. Yeah. And we noticed that this one girl in the class, she started to cry. And so as we carried on the fitness drills, I went to her. 
chatted to her, asked her what's wrong, and she said, you know what, ma'am, I've never given my heart to Jesus. I never knew I could give my heart to Jesus. And she says, I've never felt so free. She started telling me a bit about her life story. Very, she grew up very, very hard. She actually wanted to run away. Um, but you could see how God was starting to minister to her and really impact her life. And as we finished the fitness drills, you could see she came running to me. She said, ma'am, I feel free. I feel free. A totally unchurched girl, yeah. never been to church, and never given her life to the Lord. And that's what God does. He impacts lives. And this is a great tool we're using, Fitness Tuesdays. It's a great way to remind children that they are not forgotten. They are, they are not neglected or abandoned by God. He has not forgotten about them. We're also going to remind the children that they are one of a kind, that they're on this earth for a reason, and they do have a purpose. And in doing good, we also we, uh, we uh, released this Do Good Friday. Oh, Jazan. absolutely love You know, we, we came across this when we were reading in Psalms. That was so beautiful. We were, we were reading the Psalm 37 verse 3, and it said, Trust in the Lord and do good, and then you will... And we stopped, and we backtracked. We said, Trust in the Lord and mm. do good. And while we're trusting with this great vision that God has given us, we are going to go out and do good. And we were determined to do good. And every Friday we go out and do good in the community to help wherever there's a need to go out and to serve. Absolutely, Brad. And Do Good Fridays does that, just that, actually. We go, and not only do we minister the gospel, do we give them physical items to be a blessing to the community. Another great initiative that gets me really excited, Brad, oh, no, no. is We Care. Now, so often, you know, parents, they're not able to get to their children's sports matches, concerts, and they would love to, but certain times during the week, maybe they can't. And that's where we come in, we go, we watch these games, we support the children, and um, bring them, a, you know, give them a cool drink, and really just see their face light up. You know, Jazan, we've been to ballet concerts, sitting and watching a girl do her yeah. ballet, which her whole family actually so enjoyed what we did. And one of the boys' greatest memory for us was watching his big rugby game. This was a oh. huge game for him. None of his parents were able to support, unfortunately, uh, because they were involved in work. But we went out, we supported, and the minute we called out his name from the sideline, you could see that smile on his face. His game changed. It had a complete turnaround. He was making tackles, passes, yeah. side Scoring steps, tries. Tries were coming in. I mean, his whole game yeah. lifted. And just to see by going out and spending quality time, showing love, showing kindness, how it changed his whole entire game and brightened up his day. Yeah, absolutely, Brad. Just to see his smile on his face, he so enjoyed it. And just like you said, he was scoring tries. He was giving us half fives. Yeah. It really made his day. A lot of these children, all they need is quality time. You know, talking about quality time, we have another initiative that happens annually right at the end of the year called Summer Camp. And this gives the kids an opportunity to get together and to be equipped for an adventure. Absolutely beautiful. It gives them the opportunity to learn how to build campfires, bonfires, to go out and learn how to kayak. Some of the times, these kids have never kayaked before. Yeah. They have never built a fire before. They've never done team building activities before. And this gives them the wonderful opportunity of doing things for the very first time. It's amazing, Summer Camp. You know what I really love, Brad, is all throughout the year, the children come to us. When is Summer Camp? When is Summer yeah, Camp? They, they start saving their money. They can't wait for Summer Camp. Because Summer Camp not only gives children opportunities that they've never had before, just like you mentioned, right. with kayaking or building a fire or whatever, but really we teach them get the, the word, word of God. We yes. get into the word. We have small groups. They really are able to open up. We have a powerful time of praise and worship. And relationships are established. That's friendships right. are built. And that's what summer camp is about. You know, just I'm talking about relationships and friendships. I love how here at River Kids and we have holiday club. This happens during the middle of the year. And what is fantastic is that kids are able to come together and build relationships. They're able to get together, join family and friends who come from holidays, and they come together and enjoy a fantastic time here at Holiday Club. Holiday Club is themed, that we have different series, which is fantastic, and uh, the kids really have such a great time at Holiday Club. And anyway, speaking of Holiday Club, we've just come out of Holiday Club at the moment, and it's a themed Aloha, Fruits of the Spirit Holiday Club. It was an amazing, amazing Holiday Club. Leaders grew, the children grew, relationships were built, just like we mentioned. Yeah. And um, Holiday Club is just a time for children to enjoy, have fun, get together, but also grow in the Word of God, do crafts. Really, something amazing, Brad, is to see the older, the older boys, boys, your 11, 12-year-olds, 13-year-olds, loving the craft time. 
and that was really so special. You know, Josanne, another great uh, thing that we do here at River Kitson is our events. Our events yeah. are a big part of what we do. It funds us to be able to do what we do here at River Kids Zone. One event which is my all-time favorite is Cool Summer Run, which happens in October towards the end of the year, every year, and is on the race calendar here. And it is a fantastic race. It is Eastern Cape's toughest trail run. There is a two kilometer for the kiddies, there's a five kilometer, and then the tough 10 kilometer challenge, which is absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love Cool Summer Run, one of my favorite events, Brad, because it includes the whole family. It includes the smallest child, whether you're an older person, it doesn't matter if you're a mom, a dad, a single person, it doesn't matter, it includes the whole That's family. Right. And whether you are fit or not so fit, you can come out and have a great day. It's really a great family day um, with different stalls, jumping castles, mascots, so there's fun for the whole family. You know, it's really about encouraging people to live a healthy lifestyle and fit and free, so come out and enjoy a great time at Cool Summer Run if you are around. And you know, Jazan, one other event that we actually just recently had launched yeah. was the Kids Zone Golf Day. The Kids Zone Golf Day, really a great event as well, helping us raise, raise funds. You know, we cannot do what we what we do without raising funds because things cost money, as you know. Correct. We've got different projects on the go. We've got a slide project, we've got a bathroom project, we've got a jungle gym project. So we're always trying to improve things, yeah at River Kids Zone. But really what I love about the golf day, Brad, is interacting with the golfers, um, just being friendly, approachable, and it really opens the door for them to come to River East London Church. You know, it gives an opportunity to show business people, corporate companies, different people who are involved in sports or business to actually see and we can showcase who we are as River East London and River Kids Zone and what we do for the children. You know, just another part of what we do, and we birthed this vision in 2015 of Faith Man. He's our very own Christian superhero, and he has four functioning buttons, he's got a flying cape, and he's really a great role model, a Faith Man, for kids to look up to. And um, of course, all the girls are going, what about Faith Woman? Yeah. You know, Faith coming Woman. Coming soon. <laughs> yeah, she is coming soon. And uh, Josanne, there's so many different superheroes out there, but what a great role model for the kids. Absolutely. Amazing role model. And really what blesses my heart so much is to see children having birthday parties. And instead oh, of choosing it. all sorts of superheroes, they choose Faith Man. And um, I love what Faith Man stands, stands on. It's faith. And That's we right. are a faith church. We are faith preaching church. And Faith Man just does that. He's an amazing, amazing role model. Um, got great qualities, great characteristics. So I'm really excited about Faith Man. You know, Dan, Faith Man, he definitely is a man of faith. And I love what you so said, is that we are a house of faith. We preach the word of faith. And you know, that is what we are all about. You know, we spend so much time in the word and we get the word into us and we build our faith. But Faith Man is all about giving back. Faith Man really builds charities, gives into orphanages, and we raise funds for charity, different initiatives, and different drives, and we're a part of that, and that's one project that Faith Man really has been a great part of doing. You know, what we do here at River Kids Zone, all these different events, all these initiatives, it needs funding, and that is why we do what we do with our events, mm -hmm. and with all the different projects, you know, our different classrooms here, double up the studios, we're going to have a daycare center down here, we're going to have the aftercare center, it's not just a one-story building, we are many stories for the children's ministry. And you know, the vision is great. God has birthed this phenomenal vision. If you want to be a part of it, you can contact us. Find River Kids Zone on YouTube. Find River Kids Zone on Facebook, as well as the website, riverkidszone.com. And you can get hold of us. Call the office here at River Kids Zone, 043-711-4846, or email us, kidszone at riverestlondon.com. This has been River Kids Zone, helping, helping children, children live their God-given God -given purpose. purpose.